Hello everyone, welcome to today's session where we will be continuing our discussions on functions. You can find the next problem on the board. Here we have two sets namely A and B which consist of few elements here in the A and B also consists few elements in the set and we have a function by name f that is defined on set A to B. Then it is defined by we have given the particular function itself here where it has a element something like the order pairs 1 comma w, 2 comma x, 3 comma x, 4 comma y, 5 comma y which is nothing but in turn a relation in turn a Cartesian product of two sets. The question continues find the image of the following subsets of A under the function f. So we are given with the few number of subsets of the set A. Okay, we have given the subsets of set A. So what is the first subset? A1 is one of the subset, first subset which has the element 1, A2 as 1 comma 2, A3 as 1, 2 and 3, A4 as 2 and 3, A5 as 3, 4, uh, sorry 2, 3, 4, 5. We need to identify the images of these subsets. Okay, so how do we do that? you know what is a function, you know what is a image, we know already what is a pre-image is. So with the help of a function and the given subset, we can identify the images of them. So how do we do that? First of all, under the function f, we need the image of the first set that is a1, correct? That is what we need to identify the subsets of our uh, images of all the subsets. So to do that, f of what is a1? a1 is nothing but it is a subset which consists of element 1. Now with this f of 1 it means to say that this 1 you observe this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 which are the component of ordered pair of a function are nothing but the elements of set A and this w, x, x, y and y are these uh, elements of set B. So the first elements are nothing but the elements that relate to the set A and the second one are related to the second set that is B. So when it comes to that, uh, when the function f is, uh, is defined by A to B and under the function f, what is the element that is mapped to element 1 that belongs to set A? With that, we can understand that 1 comma w. So 1 is mapped to w under the function f. So element 1 of set A is mapped to element W of set B under the function F. Okay. So the image of 1 is nothing but W. Clear? The image of 1 is nothing but W under the function F. Similarly, similarly can we do it for the second one? That is second subset A2. What is second subset A2? Yes, it is 1 comma 2. So how do we do that? It is f of 1 comma f of 2 we are identifying the images of element 1 under the function f similarly the element 2 image of say, element 2 under the function f so to do that you know that f of 1 the image of 1 is w that is with the help of this and similarly the image of element 2 is x okay so the uh, images of the subset A2 is nothing but W comma X. Similarly, the third one A3. So A3, how do we do that? We have three number of elements here. F of A3. It is nothing but F of 1 comma F of 2 comma F of 3. So this is equal to what is that set f of 1 the image of 1 is w the image of 2 is x and the image of 3 is x again so can we just leave it like this yes you can leave it but multiple occurrence of the same element in the set has in the set doesn't have any subsequent remark with that or the weightage so we will reduce it to one number of occurrence w comma x okay Next it is for A4, F of A4 is nothing but F of 2 comma F of 3. So this 
f of 2 is nothing but x, the image of 2 is x and f of 3 that is image of 3 is again x, you can again reduce it to single occurrence of x in the set. Then that is the image of A4 that is the subset A4. Similarly identifying the image for the next subset A5 is f of A5 which consists of f of 2 comma f of 3, f of 4 and f of 5. So with this what is the image of f of 2? f of 2 it is x, f of image of 3 is x again, image of 4 is y and image of 5 is again y. So we can just leave it like that or you can still reduce it to single number of occurrence of each element in the set. So these are the images of the given subsets A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5 of the set A. Next, consider the problem on the board. It reads out, let z denote the set of all, all integers. A function h from z to z is defined by h of, h of x comma y that is equals to 2x plus 3y. So you are asked to find h of 0 comma 0 when x and y takes the value 0 comma 0 minus 3 comma 7, 2 comma minus 1 and h of a. So how do we do, do that? The definition of the first set A is here that is nothing but 0 comma n where n belongs to positive integers that is that is represented by z plus. So how do we do that? So it is given we have we have h of 0 comma 0 and you know the uh, you know how the function h is defined with the help of x comma y that is 2x plus 3y. So how do we define that? So it is nothing but replace x by 0 similarly replace y by 0 that gives turn or that gives rise to 0. So h of 0 comma 0 is 0. Similarly for the next one h of minus 3 comma 7 it is nothing but 2 into minus 3 plus 3 into 7 that gives rise to minus 6 plus 21 which is in turn equals to 15 right then the third that is h of 2 comma minus 1 you substitute again x with 2 and y with minus 1 that will give you 4 minus 3 so that is in turn equals to 4 minus 3 is equals to 1 fine so this is quite straightforward the last part is h of a that is the set itself is given the function on the set h which has the definition 0 comma n where n belongs to positive integer so how do we do that h of a so we will define that function on the definition here 0 comma n where n belongs to positive integer now so you know that what is h on these two elements so it is 2 and x place 0 takes the x place plus 3 into n takes the y place where n belongs to z plus next so this if i reduce then it becomes 3n where n belongs to positive integers so replacing n by positive integers what you get it is 3 if i re replace n by 1 if i replace n by 2 then it will be 6 if i replace n by 3 then it will be 9 then it is 12 and so on okay so this is what h of a is next we shall extend our discussion to types of function so you know what is a Cartesian product, what is a relation, added clause on the relation would give rise to function. Now here in the function we have different types, we will see each one in detail one after the other. Firstly we will name them, the first one is identity function, identity function, next constant function 
and the third it is on to function followed by one to one function then it is one to one correspondence so we have these many different types of functions the first one is identity function second one is constant function third one on to function the fourth is one to one function and the fifth is one to one correspondence so we shall see each one in detail now we will see every function in detail for the first we will consider the identity function here the definition of the identity function is as follows a function f that is defined on the set a itself the function a is defined on the set a itself so the function f is from a to a such that f of a so we are considering a uh, element of set a as a small a represent the element of set a f of a is equals to a please remember this f of a is equals to a for every a that belongs to set a for every element a that belongs to set a is called the identity function that means to say that if a uh, element of set a has the image as the image as itself so a uh, set our uh, uh, element a in the set a if it is mapped under the function f and if it has the same element as its image then we call it as then we call it as identity function so how do we denote that for example i have a arrow diagram here set a set a because it is a function defined on the set a itself now i have a element a that is mapped to element a in turn under the function f okay so if this is the case for every element if i have b then it has to be mapped to b itself okay it has to be mapped to b itself so this is called as identity function the definition states that a function f from a to a such that f of a you can replace this a by any element of set a if it is equal to itself for every element a that belongs to set a is called as identity function on the set a and we denote or represent it with the help of i a i representing the identity function on the set a it is denoted by i a next. consider the next type of function that is constant function the definition of the constant function is such that a function f from a to b such that f of a that is function defined on the that is function that is defined on a to b taking a uh, element of a if it is equals to c for every element of a that belongs to set a where c is a where c is a fixed element of set b please remember the definition carefully for every element of set a if it is mapped to the same element of set b under the function f then it is called as a constant function consider this as set a and consider this as set b the set a has few number of elements in that and even the set b has few number of elements in that out of which we are just selecting a uh, element c okay we are selecting a uh, element c and if all the elements you can you can just identify here in the definition it says that if every for every element a that belongs to a if every element of a is mapped to or belongs to a constant element c under the function f then we call this function as constant function okay under the function f now consider the next type of function that is on to function the definition of the on to function is that a function f defined from set a to b is said to be an on to function on to function if every element b 
please remember this if every element if every element b of the set b okay every element of set b there is an element a of set a okay such that f of a is equals to b mean to say that if every element of b set b has the pre images in set a please remember if every element of set b has the pre image in set a then such function is called as on to function but if you remember the definition of a function the second set the second set need not these the elements of second set all the elements of second set need not have a pre image correct if you remember the definition of function all the elements of second set or the codomain need not have the pre images in the domain right but here if a function has if a elements of the set b if every element of set b has the pre images in set a then such functions are called as on to function and we represent it something like set a set b and all the elements of b has the pre images in set a under the function f then that particular function is called as on to functions the next function is one to one function where the definition of the one to one function is as follows a function f from a to b is said to be one to one function if concentrate now if different elements of set a if different elements of set a have different images in set b have different images in set b under the set function f then it is called as one to one function please remember please recall the definition of functions it says that every element of a should have the unique element in b mean to say that if i have two elements here in set or three elements for that case and i have certain number of elements here in the set b now if element one of the element of set a is mapped to unique element here in the set b and the other element if it is mapped something like this okay element first element of set a is mapped to one element here the second element of the set first set that is a is mapped to the same element but if you take it is a unique mapping this still holds good and this is a function but here as per the definition of the one to one function it says that you should have a different images in b I mean to say that the particulars the particular element here in set a and elements in set b if if i if i continue this if whenever a1 and a2 if i take some 2 to 3 elements here a1 and a2 that belongs to set a with a1 not equal to a2 mean to say that a1 and a2 are completely two different elements then defining the function or mapping the a1 to the element in set p under the function f then similarly if i map this particular a2 under the same function f then these a1 and a2 are not mapped to the same elements mean to say that f of a1 is not equal to f of a2 so ultimately all these are mapped to different elements you might have different left out elements in the b that is not a problem that is still accepted that is a function and under the definition of one to one function also it is accepted but here to be a one to one function two elements need not be mapped to same l or the single element in the set b it has to be mapped to different images every element of set a should have a different images in set b next we shall consider the last function type of function that is one to one correspondence it is nothing but the one to one correspondence is nothing but if a function f defined for defined on two different for sets that is a b if it is both if it is both one to one function as well as on to function then it is said that it is one to one correspondence what do we understand by this what is the definition of on to function it says that recall the definition of on to function it says that every element of b should have the pre images should have the pre images in set a that is on to what is one to one function 
every element of A should have a unique images in set B. So, if a function that is defined such that every element of A has a unique images and all the elements of B has the unique pre images in set A, then it is said to be a one to one correspondence. How do we represent that? Consider two different sets that is A and B and I have certain number of elements here in the set A and similarly I have certain number of elements in the set B and these are mapped something like this under the function f. These are mapped under the function f. You can see all the elements of A are mapped to unique elements in B that means to say that all the elements of A has the unique images here and all the elements of B has the pre images in set A and we consider this as one to one correspondence. And here the last three functions that we discussed that is on to function, one to one function and one to one correspondence, right? These functions also have the synonyms or the other names for them like onto function is also called as surjective. Surjective function and one to one function is called as injective function. One to one correspondence is called as bijective function. The other two are identity function and a constant function and the last three that is onto function is also known as surjective function, one to one function is also known as injective function, one to one correspondence is known as bijective function. So by this we are at least pretty much clear with the definitions of the types of functions. So five types of functions, identity function, constant function, onto function, one to one function and one to one correspondence. In the next session, we shall solve few of the problems on them and get more clarity on that. Thank you.